Hey, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to jump into the latest and greatest chapter of biology, mitosis. Cellular reproduction, making brand new cells. Why is that important? Because that's how you grow. Right? When you get bigger, you're not actually getting bigger. You know, your body parts aren't growing. You're actually getting more cells added to it. So you're gaining new material. What's going to happen is the cells in your body, like say uh, your liver, your liver cells are going to go into two smaller cells. And then as you eat food, you gain material and they're going to get bigger and become two normal size cells until into four cells. And then they'll grow and into eight cells and so on and so forth. You keep getting new cells and they grow as you eat. And then you get bigger. That's also how you heal. But, you know, you get cut. You lost some blood, you need new blood, making you uh, you lost some skin, you make new skin, get the idea. Problem, DNA, kind of complicated. Remember, it's really long string, double helix, twisted, it's all wrapped up, it's, it's, a, it's a process, guys. All right, it's, it's, let, let's just jump into it. So our first word on the list is mitosis. The process resulting in the production of two identical somatic cells from a single parent. Oh, I hate that definition. That's your keystone definition, guys. All right, here's a real definition. Making new cells. More specifically, it is making a new nucleus for your cells. The final step, once I'll becoming two cells, is a different thing called cytokinesis. I believe that's a word in here. Yes, there it is, number five. So what does somatic mean? The process resulting in the production of two identical somatic cells. Well, that is your second word here. All body cells of an organism, not including sperm or eggs. So you probably have gotten through health class by now, or at least have learned where babies come from. All right. When a sperm fertilizes an egg, it becomes a baby. That's typically how biology works. Sperm and egg cells are very special cells. They have their own name. They're called gametes. Every other cell in your body are called somatic cells. So your liver cells, they're somatic cells. Kidney cells, somatic cells. Skin cells, somatic cells. Brain cells, somatic cells. You get the idea. So mitosis is how we are going to make brand new somatic cells. Starts off here, a cell. So inside this cell, we have a nucleus. And then inside of that nucleus is DNA. And remember, you have two copies of every bit of DNA, one from mom, one from dad. They're not exactly identical, but they're close enough. And then you made your own DNA. Remember DNA replication? We did the cell cycle. It was called S phase, G1, S, G2. Remember, sound familiar? During S phase, you made new DNA. So if you look closely here, you have a blue strand, but you have a second blue strand because you replicated it. You have a red strand and a second red strand because you replicated it. We got to separate those. That's mitosis. No, that's it. That's the entire definition. These two strands are blue. We got to separate them. The hard part is how do we do it, All right? So the nucleus is going to disappear. It's gone. These bits of DNA are going to line up in the middle. All of these strings forming, they're called spindle fibers, are going to rip them apart. One blue tie goes over here, one blue goes over here. One red goes over here, one red goes over here. You have 46 chromosomes, by the way, so you'll have 46 over here and 46 over there. You get the idea? Cool. And then brand new nuclei form, that's mitosis. And then, of course, the cell splits in half and you have two cells. This is a form of asexual reproduction, the process by which a single parent reproduces by itself. That means mommy makes a baby and there is no daddy. We had one parent, it's called a parent cell. It becomes two children, what we call daughter cells. How's all that really work? We just explained it by we, I mean me, it's the royal we. So I wanna show you this with Kirby, cause why not? So first thing that's gonna happen is you are gonna eat food. You're going to gain material in your body. Some of that material is going to be used to replicate your DNA. So his face represents the DNA in the nucleus. You know? And we made 
two right eyes, two left eyes, two mouths, two of everything. And they are going to line up down the middle. Why? To keep it organized. We don't want to mess it up. So we have the two left eyes, the two right eyes, and the two mouths. And see these strings? They're going to they're called spindles, and they're going to rip them apart to opposite sides. So each side gets a left eye, right eye, and a mouth. A left eye, right eye, and a mouth. So each side gets it. And of course, Kirby is going to split down the middle, and we have two Kirbys. That's what your cells do. The eyes and the mouth were your DNA. So each side gets DNA. And that is what we call daughter cells. We started off with one parent cell, Kirby up here, and we end up with two daughter cells, two Kirbys. And each daughter cell gets the exact same DNA that the parent cell had. That final step is what we call cytokinesis, the division of cytoplasm resulting in two daughter cells. I know, confusion. I thought that was called mitosis. All right, focus up here. Back to Kirby, back to Kirby. Here we go, ready? Here's mitosis. We have double DNA. The DNA gets separated to either side. There, that's mitosis. Not even doubling the DNA. Mitosis starts after it's doubled. So we start mitosis with double DNA. We line it up split it apart, that's it, mitosis. Cytokinesis is when the rest of the cell splits and each side gets DNA. So the division of the cytoplasm resulting in two daughter cells. Number six and number seven kind of go together, all right? Number six is what happens when animal cells go through cytokinesis. Number seven is what happens when plant cells go through cytokinesis, right? Just like with Kirby, again, splitting down the middle, or in this picture, splitting down the middle to become two, that form of cytokinesis, this is called a cleavage furrow, the bend forming in this cell. Cleavage furrows, grooves formed in the cell membrane in dividing cells. That's what this is. This cell is bending in the middle. This is a real picture, by the way, of a cell in what we call a scanning electron microscope. It looks cartoony because the color was digitally added in later. The real picture is black and white, but it's really happening in this picture. A real cell is splitting down the middle. This is another one from a light microscope that we would have in a classroom, splitting down the middle. This is what animal cells do. Plant cells do it differently because they have something we don't have. That's right, a cell wall, which is made of cellulose. Wait, what was cellulose? Did we talk about that? It would. Plant cells are surrounded by wood. That's what cellulose is, and that's what the cell wall is made out of. So wood is not going to bend in without breaking. So they're gonna do things differently. They create what's called a cell plate, a double membrane that forms between dividing plant cells during mitosis. A new cell wall forms between the two membranes. Keystone definition, blah, blah, blah. We get a wall film, uh, formed in the middle. That's it. Cytokinesis of a plant cell, we build a cell plate in the middle, and then we get two cells. Animals get a cleavage furrow, and we get two cells. This is the DNA, by the way, separating out. Number eight, this word is diploid. I've also heard it pronounced diploid. Either one is fine. I prefer diploid because it sounds like an insult, and it's fun to say. A diploid refers to a cell that contains two sets of chromosomes. One set of chromosomes is donated from each parent. Like I said earlier, you have two sets of DNA. Your mom gave you a set and your dad gave you a set. So your dad gave you DNA that says what color your eyes are. Your mom gave you DNA that says what color your eyes are. They may not agree with each other. We'll talk about who wins in a future chapter, but you have two sets. 
So you are a diploid or diploid because di is Greek for two, two sets. Remember when we did the strawberry DNA extraction uh, video? Stra we use strawberries because they are octploids. They have eight sets, which made it much easier to get a hold of DNA where there's a lot more of it there. But we only have two sets. All right, now this is where it gets confusing. Yes, after all of that stuff, guys, this is the confusing part. And that confusion is remembering the words. Number nine is chromatin. 10 is chromatids. And then we also talk about chromosomes and centrioles, another C word. Uh, you just gotta study it. It's the only way to tell it apart. Chromatin, chromatid, and chromosome all refer to DNA. Remember, DNA, it is chopped into 46 pieces. Those are called chromosomes. We'll get, we'll get to that, but chromosomes are wrapped up, they're braided. Chromatin is unbraided DNA. Threads of DNA and proteins in the nucleus of a cell will later condense in the chromosomes during cell division. That's all chromatin is, guys, your DNA. Floating loose. This is chromatin, and it gets all braided up into a chromosome. And you get 46 of these. Chromatid, this is a confusing thing. Identical sister copies of a replicated chromosome. Meaning, this is not the two that make you diploid. This is not moms and dads. No, 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 no. This is all from one parent, but they're identical because you went through DNA replication. Let me get a little box here. All right, that is a chromatid. Sorry, this word down here. This is a chromatid. It is made up of chromatin, all braided up. You went through DNA replication, so you have two chromatids. One chromatid, two chromatids. Together, they make up a chromosome. This is one chromosome, two chromatids together. Why is that confusing? We'll talk about it later. Number 11, spindle. Fibers that help separate chromosomes during mitosis. Remember guys, we need to rip these two chromatids apart. They're identical. You had one and you made a second one in DNA replication because you're going to make a new cell. One cell gets this chromatid, the other cell gets this chromatid. They're gonna separate. Spindles are these strings, fibers, that are going to separate them out. It's like tug of war, right? They're gonna reach out and grab the copy. Each one grabs a chromatid and then they rip them apart. And then you get a pile of chromatids here and you get a pile of chromatids here. And now that they're separated, they now count as their own chromosome. So these are two chromatids and now they're chromosomes. Centrioles. Last word, tiny structures in the cytoplasm that create spindle fibers. Better seen here in the cartoony picture, these little brown things. Right? Think of this like Spider-Man. A centriole is like Spider-Man shooting out his webs, the spindles, and latching onto the chromosomes. And over here, Spin uh, Spider-Man, then we'll say over here is Venom. And he's shooting his webs out. And they're going to have a tug of war. And they're going to rip them apart. So the centrioles are the things that are making the spindles. And you see it happening here in a real cell picture. They're down the middle, you see the spindles coming out. So right there is your centriole. And another one right here. And they're gonna pull, rip the DNA part, and you end up getting a cleavage furrow because this is an animal cell. And you end up getting two cells. And those are your 12 vocab words for this chapter. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me via email or remind or directly on Google Classroom. 
Guys, have a nice day, and I will see you next time in class.